Hello, my name is Dan Ports. I'm a researcher in the Systems Research Group at Microsoft Research Redmond. I lead the Prometheus Project, which is about how to take advantage of new hardware in the data center co-designed with distributed systems. So what's motivating this is that we are now in a world where there's a wide variety of customized and programmable hardware available in the data center. We're not just in a, in a era where there are com uh, commodity servers connected by a dumb network, but we now have programmable devices, including uh, f programmable data plane switches, smart NICs, and FPGAs deployed in the network. So what that means is that there's the possibility for the network itself to act as a computational element to uh, run some amount of processing directly on each packet. And we're interested in this from a systems perspective. What can this how can this be used to accelerate distributed systems applications? The key to our approach is that we're going to co-design network primitives with distributed systems to use this hardware to implement some new functionality and then build the applications around that. So to give some examples of this, we're able to build replicated systems that are considerably faster because we don't have to run a traditional consensus protocol like Paxos on every operation. Instead, we can run a uh, simple primitive in the network that assigns sequence numbers to requests as they come in and then use a much simpler protocol that's able to uh, implement the replication without the replicas having to talk to each other. And this lets us improve the performance of a existing data center service by uh, a, a substantial amount. We're able to reduce systems from having an 80% overhead for replication to more like 2%. We are also in investigating new applications that require more computationally intensive primitives. So for example, deep neural network training uh, requires a lot of communication bandwidth in today's uh, highly parallel clusters. We're able to reduce this communication overhead a lot by having the network aggregate parameter updates from the different servers, combining them into a single update rather than having the full set of data be distributed to all the servers. And this is able to, re to increase the throughput of these neural network training by um, 3x, which uh, will, will dramatically reduce training time. We're also looking at other applications, including load balancing, where de delivering different requests to different servers based on the load is able to increase the network, the, the system utilization by a considerable fraction without running into tail latency problems. And uh, network telemetry applications where a, a part of the processing is done in the network switches themselves. Overall, what we're able to do with all of this is to build systems with dramatically lower orders of magnitude latency and throughput overhead by moving computational elements into the switch. And the key part of this is to carefully think about what primitives need to be deployed in the network versus what needs to be done at the application layer. Thank you.